pipe color coding and labeling according to ANSI standard. Have you ever noticed industrial pipes painted in different colors? These colors aren't just for decoration. They serve a critical purpose, helping workers quickly identify what's flowing inside, improving safety, and preventing accidents. Today, we're diving into the ANSI A13.1 standard, which provides guidelines for pipe color coding. What is ANSI and why is pipe color coding important? ANSI stands for the American National Standards Institute. It establishes important industry guidelines, including the ANSI A13.1 standard, which defines how industrial pipes should be color-coded based on their contents. Why does this matter? Imagine an operator needs to shut off a hazardous gas line immediately. If the pipes aren't labeled correctly, confusion could lead to accidents, injuries, or even disasters. A well-implemented pipe color coding system allows workers to quickly and accurately identify pipes, ensuring both safety and efficiency in industrial environments. ANSI A13.1 Pipe Color Coding System The ANSI A13.1 standard categorizes pipes based on their contents, using specific colors. Let's go through the main categories, yellow with black text, flammable gases, for example, natural gas, propane, hydrogen red with white text, fire protection materials, for example, fire sprinkler water, fire suppression fluids, orange with black text, toxic and corrosive fluids, for example, acids, ammonia, hazardous chemicals, green with white text, for example, drinking water, process water, cooling water, blue with white text, compressed air, for example, industrial air supply, pneumatic systems. Purple with white text, radioactive fluids, used in nuclear plants and medical industries. Brown with white text, combustible fluids, for example, fuel oil, diesel, lubricants. These color codes ensure that workers can quickly understand a pipe's contents without needing additional labels or documentation. However, many companies also use supplementary labels with arrows indicating flow direction and additional hazard information, how to implement pipe color coding in industrial facilities. Now that we know the standard color codes, how do industries implement them? Here's a simple step-by-step -step process. 1. Identify the pipe contents. Use engineering drawings, process flow diagrams, or on-site testing. 2. Select the correct color. Refer to ANSI A13.1 to match the appropriate color for each pipe. 3. Apply labels and markings. Use durable paints and labels that withstand industrial conditions. 4. Indicate flow direction. Arrows help workers understand which way the material is moving. 5. Conduct regular inspections. Over time, Paint can fade, and labels may get damaged. Routine checks ensure compliance and safety. 6. Location of identification markers. According to the ANSI A13.1 standard, labels should be placed in highly visible locations along the length of the pipe to ensure quick and easy identification. The standard recommends positioning labels at regular intervals, including near valves and flanges. At pipe entry and exit points, such as walls, floors, and equipment connections. At direction changes, bends and junctions. Every 25 to 50 feet, or 7.5 to 50 meters, on straight runs. Additionally, labels should be oriented so that they are easily readable from the normal line of sight, and they should include flow direction arrows to indicate the movement of the pipe's contents. Using high contrast text and durable materials ensures long-term visibility, even in harsh industrial environments. By following these steps, industries can reduce risks, improve efficiency, and ensure compliance with safety regulations. Subscribe for more industrial safety and engineering content.